Alright guys, this is William, and I'm going to show you how to uh, free up your storage in Windows 10. This is Windows 10. Uh, is it, hold on a minute, let me clean the lenses off real quick. There we go. Alright, so this is uh, Windows 10. I'm going to show you how to free up space. So like most cases, like if you're running low on space, it notifies you like down there it tells you that like stored disk is full so here's why i show you how to free up space in windows 10 so to get started go to your start hopefully i can find it there it goes hit settings click settings And then go to system. It should it should take a second. There we go. And then go to your storage right there. Storage. And right now, as you can see, it's gonna uh calculating my uh the storage sizes and and what the uh. One of the applications and media is taking up the most storage. So right now, this is a Dell Live 2D 830. Uh, this hard drive is up to 160 gigabytes, but not that much. So as you can see, uh, if you scroll, if you click on Show More Categories, it will show you the list down there, all the lists down there, so you can free up more storage. So this is storage. And over there on the top, this is called storage cinch. What that does is it can automatically free up space when you lower space by deleting your files that you no longer needed, like temporary files, into your recycling bin. We can actually change that by you go here, storage cinch. You can turn it on. And you can run storage sets if I want to run every day, every week, every month for doing low on disk space. But for me, I just usually do it during low on disk space. Temporary files, delete temporary files on my app I'm using. Delete files on my recycling bin one day. Uh, delete files on my downloads one day. And just hit clean now. And then it should take a few minutes for it to be done. Should may take a while, depending on your uh, your storage, depending on your size and all of that. So it should take a minute or two. I do have plenty of storage, but but but. But I do have plenty of storage, but I'm just, but I'm just gonna show you knowing how to free up your storage space. So this is all right. Oh look, it's done. And as you can see down there, this is done. We were able to free up nine hundred six nine hundred and seventy six kilobytes of storage disk space. So all right. So once you're done, you can. Turn your automatic uh, delete the files off. For me, I just usually uh, turn this off so because they have like system files that it can run your PC, keeps your computer working well. All right, so that doesn't work. Now take a look at the list of media stuff on here. Uh, this is a system and reserve. So once you tap on that. As you can see, 10.8 gigabyte system files. So these system files help your Windows computer run properly. So whenever we see a system file, be really careful, especially when you see them. This is reserve storage. This is how your Windows will serve your storage to effectively proper performance. And vertical memory. This is let your computer run multiple ads at the same time. And, and hibernation files. It also lets your PC sleep and maintain the user state. So that's all of that. But most cases, like if you're on system restore, down there is going to show you 
uh, like, if you accidentally delete something, like, delete your browser or something like that, you could do a system restore. But I'm not going to show you that, so. Alright, go back. And our next thing, and apps and features. This is how you, like, if you have any apps, like, if you don't use often. But for me, if I want to go... So, on the top, you have, choose what to download your applications, like, if you install apps from only Microsoft, how you protect your device. But for me, I just usually choose anywhere, but you can also set options, but it will let you know there's compatible app in the Microsoft Store. But you can warn me before installing an app that's not from Microsoft Store, or you can download only from the Microsoft Store. But for me, I just usually choose Anywhere and Optical Features. This is how you turn your features on and off, manage your features. So, it's going to show you one of my apps on here. No features installed. When you click Add a Feature, then it's going to show you one of the list of Windows features, but I'm not going to install them because I don't want to ruin my storage space. Alright? So, app action analysis. Let's see. Yep, for me, I do, and also for me, uh, if I don't, if I do not want to download stuff on here, that way I can turn all of these off. All right. So right now we are on applications. So take a look one of your apps here. Does you so. Uh, if you have one of the unused applications, like, uh, something like that, it can, del it can delete and then reinstall them if you want, like, if you have, so here's all the list, we have alarms and clock, I can't, ins I can't remove that, app installer, I can't remove that, anti-avast free antivirals, I will leave that on, because it needs to protect my computer from getting any viruses when I download something. A fast secure browser, I don't want that, but, you, but click uninstall. And as you can see, it's going to give you that confirm this app and its related info will be uninstalled. Uninstall. And that's going to it's gonna bring out that little window up. And then click yes. That's... That's Petula. Hey, Petula! Petula is talking not. Yeah. You know, you fussy. Alright. It's gonna bring up to the setup wizard. Hopefully, the. Alright. Install. Alright. Just making sure still doesn't delete my antivirus on here. Alright, so, while it's uninstalling, you can, uh, so, if I want to uninstall something like camera, if I don't use camera often, but I think you, you I think you, you can't, uh, uh, delete that app. Let's see, there we go, hold on. Oh, hold on. Alright, Cortana, I can't uninstall that, get help, Google Chrome, I will leave that on, because that's why I use my browser for YouTube, H-E-I-F, I can't uninstall them, Maps, I don't want that, of course I can't uninstall one of these apps, that one did I think the uninstall may be grayed out. I don't know why. Hey, Dad, I'm just making a video. Alright. Microsoft Photos. I can't uninstall that. I think because it may be grayed out. Microsoft Store. Uninstall. Nevada Graphics Driver. I think these are the graphics, so... If I uh, remove that, the screen's gonna act up. So, 
Whatever when you see that, be really careful, especially when you see that. The Vada in view. I think that's the graphics driver also, so definitely keep that because it because if I remove it, the screen will act up funny. Alright, people. I don't know why it may be grayed out. Alright. Hold on for just one second. Let's make sure the antivirus is still there. Yep, that's good. Alright. Yeah. So, this is right now, that's the apps and features, but right now, we're going to take a look at temporary files. So, most cases, like if you got, like if you have like a browser, the internet, something like that, that's <coughs> all of that web browser and Something like that. Should take a load up here. I'm trying to make this video. <clears throat> I don't know. It's going to be. It's about 11 minutes and 21 seconds from now. There we go. Hold on. Alright. Once of that. These are the temporary files. We're gonna re remove that. And here we go. Oops. All right. Documents. You can manage your documents below, you see that, and when I click view documents, it should bring up to the file explorer, right there. Hopefully I can get it open. There we go. As you can see, and for me, if I wanted to uh, use, check my storage, for me, I just usually go here, and then click on the drive, local disk. Yeah, when it's into like a different location, basically. So, uh, when you click on your local disk drive, that little hard drive icon, and that's gonna show you one of your files you have on here. You got recycling bin, documents, and settings. Especially when you see a system file, be really careful. Got three system files right there, so just be real careful when you are uh, filling up space. So, alright. Alright, but we're not going to mess around with that because I do have plenty of storage. As you can see, I do have plenty of storage. 122. So, exit out of there. I think just about it. I'm gonna say thank you for watching, guys. That this video helps. Alright, I'm going to say thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day, or a great night. Bye for now, we'll see you next time.